We're now on track to have enough vaccine supply for every adult in America by the end of May. That breaking news. President Biden announces a major production deal that will deliver enough vaccine doses for all Americans two months earlier than anticipated. The Biden administration says drug maker Merck and company will help produce the one dose Johnson and Johnson shot. Yeah, the president also directed states to prioritize vaccinating teachers. President Biden told governors today to prepare for more supplies in the coming weeks. The White House is increasing supply of the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines to states next week to 15.2 million doses per week up from 14.5 million and more than 800,000 doses of the Johnson and Johnson vaccine will be distributed to pharmacies across the country this week. The announcement comes as the White House looks to accelerate plans to reach herd immunity. We've been reading about it and following it and, and we're ready. The mass vaccination is going to help uh, take care of so many people. Our other top story tonight, a new group of Hoosiers now eligible to get vaccinated. The state opened up appointments to people 55 years and older this morning. And they'll have more options for where they can get those shots. The Department of Health plans to open up three mass vaccination sites this month. Those are the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Ivy Tech in Sellersburg, and the University of Notre Dame. Each location will offer only the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine. IMS will begin administering shots first on Friday. News 8's Logan Gay learned what opening day might look like. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway is already known as the racing capital of the world. But starting this weekend, it will also be known as a mass vaccination site. Right now, they're preparing to vaccinate thousands of people starting Friday. Both Lisa and Jim Riggins are excited to finally be able to get their COVID-19 vaccines. They are both part of the 55 and older group that can now roll up their sleeves and receive it. They hope doing this will give them a little more room to breathe. We've been outside on walks in the winter more than we ever have, um, but we're we're excited to possibly travel more and, and do some other things. The Riggins will be among the thousands of people who will be getting their vaccines at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The president of IMS, Doug Bowles, tells me the arrival of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine changed the game for the Speedway. The challenge up to this point is there just hadn't been enough vaccines to justify having a site here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but now with that emergency use um, recommendation for the J&J &J, uh, vaccine, and now that it's available here uh, in Indianapolis and in Indiana, it made sense. The Indiana Department of Health says they are preparing to vaccinate a total of 40,000 people between the three mass vaccination sites. Bull says he hopes this effort sends a message to people who are on the fence about getting a vaccine. We're just really proud to be a part of this. We're proud to help out Hoosiers. We want to make sure that we all get ourselves in a position where we can put all this behind us and get back to a more normal life here as soon as possible. Hopefully we can do that in order to have as many people as we can in the grandstands for this year's Indy 500 in 89 days. The Riggins are big race fans and believe their appointments are fate. And they hope other people take advantage of the mass vaccination options. The mass vaccination is going to help uh, take care of so many people that even some of the smaller towns now will have uh, less of an issue with getting uh, shots rolled out to the folks there. Now it is appointment only, so if you're interested in making one, visit our website, wishtv.com. In Indianapolis, I'm Logan Gay, wishtv, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Okay, Logan, so here is how the process will work at IMS. It's a drive through clinic, so people will stay in their cars. When you sign up for a vaccine, you're given a time to show up. Once inside the speedway, you'll be directed toward the F1 garages. And once given the shot there, you'll be directed to park for 15 minutes in the IndyCar transporter lot before being allowed to leave.